Hi, this is Jonathan Landeros for Kativ Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show how to set a common material when importing a file into Autodesk Inventor from a different source, such as another CAD system or a neutral file. So how about, let's take a look. First, let's see the default behavior when importing a file. I'm going to go ahead and open a file and browse to a location where I have some files that are in this case from SolidWorks. I'm going to go ahead and import the assembly and I'll speed things up a little bit with some time compression because this will take a little bit of time. And once the files are in I can go ahead and take a look and do what I need to do with them. Going to the Manage tab, I'm going to take a look at the Bill of Materials and I'm going to go ahead and add a material column. Once added in, I can see the material is generic. Why? Because that's what the template is set to. I could change all these components individually and that'll work just fine. You could do that all day long. But what if this is a large assembly and I don't want to change a bunch of different components and the components all happen to be the same material? Let's say in this example, we'll call it mild steel. How can we do that? There is a way. So how about, let's take a look at that. The first thing I'm going to do is locate and open up my template. The template Inventor uses for the import is the standard IPT template. I'll go ahead and hit open and Inventor will warn me about this file not being in the active project. We're just going to open it and edit this file so we don't need to worry about this message in this case. Once this file's open, all I need to do is find the material, which is currently generic, and then find the material I want, which in this case is steel mild. I'll select that, that changes the template material, and then save the file and close it. It's important to note you have to open the template directly. Don't create a new file from the template because then you're just copying it and you're not changing the file you need. So don't forget that. So now let's go ahead and try importing that assembly again and see what happens. Repeating the steps of opening and importing the files from our directory, the steps are exactly the same. I open and I give it a little bit of time to import. Once imported, I can repeat the steps of going to the Manage tab and looking at the Bill of Materials. I'll go ahead and add that material column in again. And now I can see that the material is steel mild. So that was set by the template when the file was imported. So if you have a large assembly and all or at least much of the materials are going to be the same, this is one way to set that material and not have to go through and hit a bunch of them at once. It's just a thought. Something that you can use and maybe adapt to your own purposes. So take a look at it and see what you can do with it. That's it for this video. Have a great day.